Hey guys, what's up? It's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. Today I'm showing you my five favorite postures to do before a run. So I run a lot and I actually do a little bit of yoga before I go running and the focus is on muscle activation. So think of muscle activation and, and less of mobility in terms of yoga for before a run. All right, those five postures. The first one is going to be a standing march hold. So I'm just going to stand on one foot and I'm going to bring the left knee up to hip level, press my hand into my thigh, work on standing up as tall as I can and hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Make sure to get both sides. That helps with ankles, that helps with hips. Next exercise is a high lunge. So I'm gonna start off in a squat hold, get my butt way back so my glutes are engaged, take a big step back with my left foot, knees over the ankle and the front foot, pressing down hard through the foot, getting the glute, the hips active, and then bringing the arms up. So I'm working on a little bit of hip mobility, mostly on hip activation, mostly on glute and thigh activation, and also getting my arms up, getting a nice stretch through my upper body. Make sure to do both sides there too. 30 seconds is a good length for that. Next exercise is a deep squat. Focus here is on core strength and on glute activation. So I'm gonna start with my feet about shoulder width. Knees can come slightly forward. And keep my chest upright, sit down, and back, squeeze my glutes so I'm externally rotating my hips like I'm pinch, pinching a, think of trying to squeeze a penny between your butt, and then keep your chest up so I'm keeping my chest showing forward, pushing down through the feet, flexing the ankles, and you can hold this for about 30 or 45 seconds and squeeze your glutes to stand back up. So that's a deep squat, that's number three. Number four, standing side stretch and standing back bend. So this helps with your lungs with your cardiovascular ability. Bring the arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, point the index fingers, breathe in, and then lean toward one direction, pressing your fingers up, pushing down through your feet, squeezing your, your abs, your obliques, opening up the chest, stretching the shoulders. Make sure to get both sides. And then we're also doing a standing back bend. So for this, press your fingertips straight up, lift your sternum toward the ceiling, Lengthen your neck, so notice I'm not letting my neck collapse, but I'm keeping it upright. And then squeeze up and back. And again, those are all 30 seconds. All right, last one I'm gonna show you is a warrior two. And this is great for glute and hips. Also ankles. Feet are going to be wide to start. Turn your right foot out, push down through the right foot, push your left hip into your right hip, reach your tailbone down, squeeze your legs toward one another, and then squeeze your right glute. Arms can come out, ribs pull away from the hips, and again, 30 seconds there. Make sure to get both sides. Super easy to get into this, but it's harder to get all the muscle activation and everything involved. So again, pushing down through the left foot, right hip, back hip, pushing into the front hip, legs squeezing toward one another, ribs lifting up, neck long, arms out. All right, there you go. So those are five. Uh, of my favorite, five of the best postures for before a run. We've got a full length workout of that on the Manful Yoga members area. If you're just joining me today, make sure you subscribe to the Manful Yoga YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to like. Uh, we put out content like this all the time. Our goal is to inform and to inspire you to get in better shape using yoga, using fitness in general. All right, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.